In this video for Math 94, we will be covering problems from section 10.3 and 10.4, rational exponents and radicals. This is like homework number 9, problems 3, 4, 5, and 6. These are mainly application problems involving the concept of interest. <coughs> now, interest is money earned for the use of money. For example, if you loan somebody $1,000, you might want to be paid back not the original $1,000, but $1,000 plus some interest for the privilege of your friend using them your money. That's what the banks do when you get a loan from them. By the same token, if you give the banks your money in a savings account or a checking account, you might expect some interest in the return, some money from them for the privilege of them using your money. Some terms that we use in interest our present value, or sometimes use the word principal. This is the amount of money that you have today. The amount of money you are investing now. Future value, we use the symbol A for that, is the amount of money you want at some time in the future. Interest rate, we use the symbol R, that is usually given as a yearly rate, how much you will earn per year. But sometimes interest is compounded more than one time a year. And in that case, we call those compounded period. And time is often given in years, and we use the symbol T for that. So P for present value, A for future value, R for interest rate, N for compounding periods, number of times interest is calculated, and T for years. Two formulas that we'll use in this section, which by the way will be provided for you on quizzes and tests if you need them, are A equals P, times the quantity 1 plus r to the t if interest is calculated annually. That means yearly. Or a equals p times the quantity 1 plus r over n to the n times t if interest is calculated n times per year. Let's look at some simple examples. Find the amount of money in an account if $3,000 is deposited at 9% interest compounded annually for nine years. Well, compounded annually, I'll go back and look at that formula, is this right here. Now, what do we know? We know we have $3,000. That's my present value, the amount I have to invest now. And 1 plus 9%. Now, be careful. Don't put a 9 here. 9 does not represent 9%. The number 9 represents 900%. And if you can find 900% interest, please tell me where, so I can take part in that too. 9% is 0 0.09, and this is compounded annually for nine years, so my timing year is nine. I can write this down like this. Now you take out your calculator, and you do this calculation. So I'm just going to come over here, turn my calculator on, and 3,001.09 raised to the ninth. So this ends up to be $6,515.68 if I round it. Okay. And that is my answer. Find the amount of money in a savings account if 1,000 invested at 5% for four and a third years. Okay, so again, I'm going to use this formula. My present value is 1,000. My interest rate is 5%. And I have 4 and a thirds years. Here's where we can use a rational exponent. 4 and a thirds is very easy for me to write as an improper fraction of 13 thirds. Now, I can simplify this a little to 1,000, 1.05 to the 13 thirds. Now let's try putting this in our calculator. Okay, see if I can arrange that over here a little. So I'm going to take 1,000, 1.05 raised to 13 divided by 3. Now make sure you put that 13 divided by 3 in parentheses. And that's going to give me $1,235.44. Again, 
rounding to the nearest cent. Another application of interest is inflation. Inflation just basically means that things will increase. For example, if we said we had an inflation rate of 4% each year, that means something that you bought this year should be about 4% more next year. Now, you might have a job that guarantees you a certain increase in wage every year if you stay there. Now, this is a way some employers um, promote loyalty. So let's suppose you find the final hourly wage. If an $8 starting at w wage is increased 4% each year for 15 years. But then suppose this company says half a raise is given every six months. This is not compounded annually. This is interest compounded semi-annually or two times a year. So I'm going to use this formula now. I start with $8 as my beginning wage. My interest rate is 4%. Remember, interest rate is giving yearly. And a number of times interest is calculated, or your increase in your wage is calculated, is two times a year, every six months. And that's going to be to the 2 times 15 years. If you were to stay in this job, for 15 years, this ends up being this. And if I do that calculation on my calculator, I have 8, 1.02 raised to the 30th. That would mean after 15 years, you would just be making about $14.50 an hour. Hopefully, you would have found a better, more high-paying job by that point. But that gives you an idea of how that works. Let's see if you can try this problem by yourself and then start the video again when you are done. Okay, here we are to find the final hourly wage of an $8 starting wage is increased 3% per year for 10 years. You notice unlike the last problem, nothing about half a raise given every six months. So, I'm just going to use my annual interest rate formula. I'm going to take an $8 wage. I'm going to increase it 3% per year for 10 years. That's going to be 8, 1.03 to the 10th. Now, if you do this on your calculator, this ends up to be about $10.75. I hope you have found this video useful.